we had our first sneaking mission and it went terrible. So, alright guys, welcome back to another part of GTA San Andreas, the Definitive Edition. Now, just to quickly recap, in the previous part, we had to do another mission for Mad Dog. We had to steal... No, not Mad Dog, OG Loke. We had to steal some rhymes from Mad Dog's mansion, which involved a stealth section. Now, the stealth mechanic, eh, it's, it's sort of a bit poo. To be honest, it is a bit poo, but we did get our lovely silenced pistols, so that should come in handy now. We've got the rhymes, we've got the speakers for OG Loke. Let's see what else he has in store for us. Let's get it. Hey, excuse me. Loke around here? What? Who? Who in friends with that? Loke. Is he available for communication? Who? Loke? Man. Oh, you mean Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah, our appliance technician called in six, so Jeff... Look, he got promoted. So? So? He's out back cleaning the fryer. Hey, what up, Lope? CJ, what's up, homie? Hey, my shit's so tight right now, it's about to bust. So you happy now, homie? Happy? Man, hell no. I can't take this shit much longer. Man, I'm an artist. I'd rather be inside. Man, I can't get it there for nothing. Motherfuckers always want to keep a nigga down. And that CPO, Mad Dog's manager, is putting on me real heavy, man. He cover my style for real. Heavy? Man, he five foot three. But that fool's strong. Man, we got to take him out. He done blackballed me, man. I can't get in the game no way. I told you, I'm an artist, a communicator, and nobody can even hear my message. He going around telling everybody I'm wet. Well, he obviously ain't heard your new shit. That shit is outrageous. That's what I'm talking about, man. Down with a frown, on the tail, a sad clown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what you want me to do? I want you to take that motherfucker out. Kill him? Well, I ain't mean, Dana. Listen, he gonna be attending some ball ceremony. And that's the only time he leaves dog side. Okay, one of Mad Dog's manager's drivers is eating the burger shot across town. Now, am I going to have to dress up or fancy in a suit or... Because I don't think if I turn up to a ward ceremony wearing socks and sandals, an incognito mask and a leopard print ho cowboy hat, they won't, um, they won't appreciate it. So I've mistakenly just went round there because I'm an idiot and followed my waypoint. Like, the kind of thing I don't like in this game is the fact that when you set a waypoint, once you reach that waypoint, it doesn't automatically get rid of it. Not the biggest issue in the world, but it's still a pain in the backside. Now, I am hoping we unlock an ammunition soon, but goddamn, I need some ammo. Oh, let's go. Okay, nearly there, nearly there. Uh, hopefully, we get to steal a vehicle or something to make this mission a bit more streamlined, because the last thing I want is to fail. Who the fuck's ringing me? It's gonna have to wait, sorry. Oh, no. What's up, man, man? One of Mad Dog's chauffeurs just left the burger shop. Call Dan. He said he was headed over to the music. Good looking. I'm gonna see if I can catch up with him. Well, we've caught up with him. Now, let's take his car. Get off hey, phone. What the fuck are you playing at? See you later, fool. <laughs> nice wheels, dickhead. Go meet up with the drivers before 10.30, don't damage your car. Okay, I got a bit lucky there because I was getting shot at. Alright, let's spin this car around, make a nice little turn, not run anyone over. There we go, it's going to be a tailor mission, isn't it? Okay, yeah, so I've parked the face in the same way. Now, is his manager going to get in here? The other two are going to go for us, no, the other two are going to try and kill us. Congratulations on your award, you must be thrilled. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like to thank my fans, my mama, and my dealer. Hold position in the middle of the motorcade until we get to the award show. Stay close and let's roll. Keep in between the two cars until you reach the ceremony. Easier said than done. Now, I have a feeling this is going to be quite a long drive. It's going to be... A sh okay, maybe not. 
Oh, and nearly bopped into me then. Keep frosty, guy. There we go, are you parking off? Stop the car here. Yep, there we go. Hey man, take me back to Dog's Mansion. Not today, asshole. Today, we taking the scenic route via the bottom of the ocean. There's a pier to the south, you can dump the car off there. Right, and he's gonna follow me. Yep. Really? Really? Dump the car in the water and make sure no one sees you. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. So, as long as I don't get the police on me, it should be fine. Welcome to hell, motherfucker! Three, two, one. See ya! Oh shit, I fell in the water. Nope, wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> okay, nice easy mission. And we can dive underwater, something like you couldn't do in the previous GTA games now. As far as I'm... What's he doing? <laughs> as far as I'm aware, there's nothing that you can find underwater. So we have got more missions for OG. I'm just going to go ahead and continue with them. Now, I'm trying to swim as fast as I can. Doesn't seem to be changing much, but we'll do some OG missions. We did get a call from Tenpenny, but he... Um, Oh, lost body fat as well. Nice. So I did get a call from Tenpenny, and it basically just said, oh, you need to meet us at the donut shop. Now, unfortunately, that was just in between recording videos, so I normally take about a 10-minute break in between recording videos sometimes, depending on how much content I'm recording in the day. Now, why isn't this just... There we go. Now it's allowing us to swim a bit faster. And uh, now it, it just keeps stopping. What the hell? Right. Come on. Just swim. Okay, so he must be out of breath or something, but basically he said meet him at the donut shop and luckily it's nothing majorly missed. What the hell happened? What the hell? Okay, this uh, swimming is a bit glitched. Oh my god, this is taking so long. I think it's actually taken us just as long to get to the island, like to get to the beach, as it is to do that mission. But I'm gonna continue I'm gonna continue with OG Logs missions and then the Carl Tenpenny one is actually nearby, so I'm gonna try and do them. Hopefully if I can stick around doing about three missions per part, it'll work out quite nice because as far as I'm aware there's about I think there's about I wanna I wanna say about hundred missions in this game, so it's quite a large game now. As I said in the previous part, we need to be actually getting paid money for our missions because we cannot eat respect. Unless someone's going to buy us a burger because they that respect us that much, I highly doubt we're going to survive just having you money. I mean, just having respect. Because you do actually need to up your food and everything like this and take care of your body on the game, which is actually kind of cool. I mean, if you don't eat regularly in the game, you can actually die. Now, it's never gonna, it's never going to get to that stage because you can easily just kill someone on the game and get, you know, a quick bit of money to buy a burger. So, it'll never get to that stage, but... I just need money. I just need money. Stop being, stop being stingy. Stop it. Hey, fuck you, man. And I don't care what you heard. I ain't nobody's ass technician, bitch. Hey, hey, what's up, Low? Technician ain't gangster. That's what's up. I heard that. Listen, Carl. If I'm going back to a cell, I want to have a big party first. This may be my last chance to get home. Okay, so what's the plan? Well, I'm going to slide back over to Grove Street and get those sounds bombastic and fantastic. All right, so what you want me to do? I want you to get ready for the park and get some girls, man. Okay. Get some real fly girls, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The ones in the bikinis and uh -huh. shit in the videos. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I told you, brother, I'm the chronicle of our struggles. The voice of the family's like Moses, only keeping it real. You said it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got some new threads in the haircut, then dropped by OG Lokes. Between 8pm and 6am. Okay, so this mission is going to 
take a while anyway because we need to, you know, make it. We need we need to wait until 8 p.m. for it. Okay. Here we go. Get a new haircut, even though no one's going to see it. Kind of weird that like, I have to get some new clothes purely for the fact of his party. Oh, can get blonde hair, pink hair, blonde afro, blonde cornrows, high afro, wedge, detail cut, groove cut, mohawk, pink mohawk. Wow, okay. Um, You know what, we'll go for the blonde afro, why not? Why not? Stylish. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Your nodes are oozing cramp. Here we go. Wait, did I buy that then? Oh, okay, I don't have enough money. Yeah. Life is a circle, friend. He wants me to buy clothes, but I don't have enough money. Like, what do you expect me to do? Hang on. Hey, CJ, roll it up, G. Hey, Lo. This party is jumping. We got a gang of crazy ass bitches in the house. You coming over, homie? Uh, I don't know, man. I had some plans tonight. But we had a big disaster. I won't be rapping. My mic's broken. Ah, oh, okay. I'm gonna come over right now, then. Okay, have we got his icon on the map? Right, so there's OG now. Obviously, if we can't do OG's mission because he wants us to change clothes, weirdly enough. I mean, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not wasting money just to do a mission. Because we've only got like $88 anyway. That's eight meals. Not even nine meals that we can afford on the game already. If this was GTA, we'd be swimming in thousands and thousands of pounds right now. I mean, I can't imagine how long it's going to take us to buy a property. Oh, it's going to be insane, but we'll go to OG Loke. If we can't do his missions, Ryder's missions are literally right there, so it should be okay, even if we don't get to do OGs, because it might say, listen, you need to upgrade your clothing and buy something, but I don't see the point in doing that, to be honest. Like, why should I waste my money? Because his microphone's broken. It makes no sense. Oh, my God, angry taxi... Angry ta oh, my God, angry taxi driver. Stop! Stop! Oh, my God. Okay, he's right at me tail. Shit! Jesus, this guy needs to chill. Chill, daddy, chill. And, okay, he has stopped. Maybe he feels a bit... Maybe he feels a bit guilty about being part of a... Uh, a hit and run. Yeah, thinking he might. Okay, so it's just up here. It's actually where we need to go anyway for riders missions, is it? Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Okay, I thought it disappeared then, so I think we've only got literally about 10 seconds in order to actually go into the mission market, so it might just disappear right now. There we go. Watch it disappear now. Yep, come back between 8 and 6. Okay, it is 6. Oh, uh, we have until 6 to do it. Okay, that's... Uh, I have an easy way to do this. This is what you do. Say, if there's a mission and it's on a specific time you need to attend, this is what you do. So if you go here and um, I'm back out. Oh, no, not back out. Okay, so if you go in here and you go press save and I'm back out, it skips it forward by six hours. So if I just do that again, it's a bit of a pain in the backside, but now it's uh, six o'clock. I go again. And now it is past midnight, so now we can actually go to OG's mission and do it. So it's actually kind of cool, that's the way that you can actually... Rather than waiting around, because say if it was 6 o'clock and we've got to wait till 8 o'clock, we don't have to wait, like, we don't have, we don't want to have to wait several minutes yeah, yeah, to do the game. Man, this lyrics is horrible. That dude needs some work, man. Hell yeah. What up, fellas? Hey, what's up with you, baby? So you back on the block, huh? Hell yeah. You a real killer, huh? What he done that I ain't, huh? Let's stall him out, man. Hey, relax, man. Hey, a baller's posse's about to run up. They're headed up here right now. Looks like we backed them ballers against the wall, huh? Hey, CJ, strap up. Scroll Street. Shit, I'll go round up some homies. Okay, get some cars, block the road. The rest of y'all get heated. 
Let's go. Here we go, boys. I've only got a silence pistol. Oh, great. Oh, shoot. Okay, now it's giving us an option. Micro SMG, here we go. Oh, shoot. Right there. Okay, let's not try and make the car go up near us, because that'll be a quick mission fail. Yeah, boy. Look up, more of them on the bridge. Oh shoot. What was you saying? Oh <laughs> wait, did they jump off? Carl, cover the alleyway. Shit. Right, I need to collect all this ammo as ammo as much as I can Send because free ammo means I then don't have a crap sans weapon for the whole game. So let's for? get this ammo. We got plenty here. And some behind the CJ behind it! Shit! Oh, oh my god, aim the gun! Pop, 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 pop. Cap in your ass, boy. What's that? You want to die? Hish, hish, hish. Where are you going? Where are you going, chump? See ya. CJ says see ya. Come on, fool. Hey. What? Oh. Oh. oh, sorry, mate. You took a bullet for me. Thank you. I think that's all. Give me that money. Yeah, boy. Bro, this king. Man, I ain't never seen the ballers roll that deep before. Yeah, they heard Carl Johnson was running with his brother again. Yeah, for sure. Come on, let's get back to the party. Shit, man. Once Lo got off the mic, then the party got started. Give him a break. <laughs> his lyrics are bad, like. I do admit that. Okay, so it looks like we've done all of Loke's missions, now let's do Riders. So we got Riders, Carl, and Big Smoke. So we've nearly done this section already. Uh, come back between 12 and 8. So what I'll do is, obviously, I will end up doing the same thing I've shown you guys before. We go in here, you quickly save, it fast forward time, and then you can go ahead and do the mission. So I don't know how many more missions we've got in this area before it moves us to another section, because as you can see, we were in this section here, so we got Ryder, Big Smoke, and Caesar. But if you have a look at the maps, I have a feeling we're going to be moving to this section or this section, maybe for the next part. So there's going to be, I reckon they'll equally split missions like they did with GTA 3. And um, they didn't really do it with Vice City. Vice City was just one huge continuous map anyway. So I reckon they'll do it with GTA 3, where you do a few missions, you have to go to another part of the island for whatever reason, to run away or something, and then you'll go to the next part and the next part and so on. Damn. Damn. What you doing? Digging graves? Damn, where the fuck I put it, man? Put what, nigga? Man, the fucking water. Need a little something before I go deal with things. What things, fool? My homie LB, he told me about this army motherfucker who got all the guns we need. Not that old school Emmy bullshit neither. I'm down. Let's roll. Jill, you always down, homie. Apart from when you ain't around here. Nigga, fuck you. Damn. Man, you want some of this? Nah, man. I'm cool on that. Where we going? This tilt overlooking East Beach. Better yet, you better wait until it's dark. Catch the motherfucker while he in bed. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Come on, nigga. What you waiting for? Look. Get in, fool. Park the truck near the house and get the guns before daylight. Now, I briefly remember this mission because what you have to do... Where is this Hang old on. motherfucker? When the hell is he? Relax, man. We ain't there yet. Yeah, right, Carl. You always right. That's my homie, Mr. Right. Shut up. You can't stop me. Who can't? Whatever. Okay, park the truck near the house and get the guns before daylight, so... I briefly remember this mission, and I think there's more missions like this with Ryder. Basically, you've got to you've got to sneak and use a stealth mechanic crouching, and there's a noise meter. So you, as long as you don't wake someone up, you don't fail the mission. Uh, it can be a bit tedious at times because if you slightly move, they can just wake up. So 
I haven't really had much difficulty of it in the past, even when playing this game when I was like 10 years old, so I'm hoping I should be able to streamline this mission and do it first time. I'm hoping. It's crazy looking back at this map and thinking, wow, GTA 5, because obviously it, it's the exact same map they use in GTA 5, they've just obviously changed a load of things, so... Apparently GTA 6 is supposed to use Vice City's map. Let's storm the place. Hold up. Let's creep in, grab the guns, and bounce out. Gee, gee, I got it ninja style. Right. Come out, you old bastard. Shut up. He can't stop me, you buster car. Okay, fool, in you go. I'll keep watch. Look at the mask I've got. Oh, Jesus, yeah, um, he def he's definitely not going to know who I am, is he? He's definitely not. You must remain silent at all times. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. So, press left stick to crouch and sneak quietly around the house. If you make too much noise, you'll wake the inhabitants of the house. I'm pretty sure there's further missions where you do have to sneak. Make sure the noise bar does not reach the level. Okay. Find a crate. You need to steal at least three crates. we go here's one. Oh shit okay so you can't run you've got to walk but we've got six and a half minutes i'm hoping we get to do it smoothly walk over to the truck to drop it Keep it coming, we CJ. let's uh sneak and go back and get another crate i reckon one of the crates is going to be upstairs hang on let's uh there's no other crates in here now is opening the door going to be noisy <sighs> okay okay that's making too much noise here we go Get this crate. Got to be sneaky, sneaky. Is he going to pick it up? Here we go. So, just got to be careful. Now, open, walking through the store, I think, is going to maybe wake him up. Hang on. Okay, okay. So, that's how we open the door. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Don't mind me, mate. I'm, a, I'm the removal company. I'm not moving anywhere besides just to my house. What I tell ya? Kill it. Okay, last one. Now, if it goes to that kitchen door, or the other door, not the kitchen door, if it goes to that door directly ahead, hopefully there's another crate in there. So it just got to be really, really quiet. Just edge forward towards it. No, okay, oh shit, there's going to be another one upstairs then. Oh, great. Now we've got to be quiet. I don't know why I'm whispering. Here we go. Please don't wake up, please don't wake up. I just realised this house is basically the same layout as CJ's house, so I don't know if they've literally just reskinned it near enough and just changed a few things about. It is basically just the same. Looks like we're going to do this mission nice and easy first time, unless anything goes drastically wrong. Here we go, let's go. You're a natural housebreaker, homie. Yeah, find a crate or get in the truck and offload when you're already stashed. Yeah, let's just go, just to be safe. Let's get up out of here. Why was Ryder there? Oh, he was keeping a lookout, was he? I think he was. Either that, he was just trying to do a runner. I don't know. So, get safely back to the lockup. Hopefully, he doesn't report anything missing because, uh, why, why has he got. Um, I mean, I know he's a veteran, but. Alright, now we straight on. The LB got a storage garage down in Seville Boulevard family turf we could use. I'm on it. Seriously, Ryder, man. You gotta give up those sticks. What? Uh, why not give up the water if you give up being a buster? Hold it right there, homie. Buster. Forget it. Forget you, fool. One day, you're gonna wish you hadn't pissed me off. Did I hear something? Sound like the Buster complaining again. Man, this is childish. And I ain't talking to you no more, fool. Right, this is a bitch. Okay, this should be the mission done. Park inside the locker. Here we go. Yeah, boy! You see, I told you. Simple. Yeah, that was a real breeze. Say, CJ, you gotta get it in your head that this is everyday shit, homie. You can perform burglaries at night when not on a mission. Whoa, okay, that's that's cool. Many houses can be broken into and goods stolen from the owners. Okay, so that's one way we can actually earn money rather than get paid in respect. So you need to get in this type of van to start a burglary. I might have to do that in order to be able to afford like the simplest things in this game because everyone's just paying me in respect, not money. Okay, look, I'm tired. I'll see you later. All right, Holmes. Just think about what I said. Oh, look at that. I'm paid in respect, not money. Surprise! <laughs>